today on uh, Dave's Boy Shopworks, this episode we are going to start inst installing body mount. So I've got the frame lowered, or the body, I have the body lowered onto the frame. And we are going to, I'm happy with uh, where it's at, obviously it looks too high, and it is, but as you can see I still have my spacer just holding the dip in place, i got to cut that out later on and lower the frame. So I'm happy with the front. So I'm happy with the front. I still have to square it up just a little bit, but I don't know if you can see, we're just a little off the frame right now. I've got uh, jack stands holding the body up to keep the strain off the floor of the car. And uh, my back end is even side to side, so I'm happy with where that's at. And the front is pretty well perfect where the uh, wheel well center of the wheel well is for the center of the wheel should be good there so what I've done is I've taken these uh, one and a half by one and a half box tubing and drill holes in them and I put in some spacers now those spacers go right through and they're there so this doesn't crush when I tighten the bolts in I've done it before lots of you would already know that but uh, finding it the hard way Anyway, it'll crush the tube when you tighten the bolt in, and we don't want that. We want it to be good. So, I repurposed my steering shaft. I'd cut it off before anyway, and it's got a perfect hole the size, uh, it's probably 7 16 hole. And anyway, cut off uh, some inch and a quarter uh, sections and put them inside and just tack welded them in place nothing fancy they just got to stay there and that'll work out good so we're going to go ahead bolt them in place find the spot on the frame clean the rust off the frame and then tack weld them in place solidly so we can leave those and move on to the fronts and we'll knock the front down build our mounts across at the probably the second one back and then we can actually get the jack stands out of the way on the front and keep building.
That actually went okay. I gotta go over my welds a little bit. And I do have to finish welding them all the way around. Like I said, uh, shore up the rear, gusset them up a little bit. And I gotta triangulate from the mount down to the frame at the lower section to give it some more strength. And I think when I'm all said and done and I get the other uh, four mid mounts made, I'm gonna run a, a bar to tie in all along the outside length. Just again, a little more added strength. I've never done this before and I'd rather go a little bit more than I need than find out I don't have enough. So, but yeah, as you can see, she's on and she ain't going nowhere. That's, that's pretty huge for me, I'm happy. I have to get spacers for the rear because it's still touching the frame just a little bit. I need about a half an inch of clearance for where I'm happy. And I may end up solid spacering the whole vehicle anyway, um, but we'll see what happens. I do plan on putting some uh, bracing bars from the firewall down to the frame, you know, uh, lots to do. Anyway guys, really appreciate you following along. The build is going decent. Um, I'm trying to get as much work done to it as I can through the weeks when I'm working and weekends are all about building cars and having fun. Thanks for watching this episode of Days of Glory Shopworks. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll keep the content coming. If you got any suggestions, hit me up in the comments. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much, guys.